Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you such an easy, fast recipe that's gonna guarantee to keep you on track towards your fitness goals. So I have two really easy recipes for you guys today. The fun thing is, if you make the cookie dough, you can either eat it as is or make the cookie. I love cookies, but it's hard to find healthy options out there. And when you want to be on track, you want a healthy cookie, you want something fast, this is perfect. I've been eating these nonstop for the last couple weeks. After we're trying to get our workouts in, trying to meal prep, we don't have time to make something really difficult. So this is super simple. You need only like six ingredients. As always, the recipe will be down below in the description box. And let's get started. So first you're gonna start off with half of a scoop of vanilla protein. This is my favorite, vegan pure vanilla protein. So about half a scoop. It's for one cookie. If you want to make extra, then obviously double the recipe, triple, quadruple, whatever. Coconut flour or almond flour works. You might need a little extra almond flour. Two tablespoons of coconut flour. One tablespoon of your favorite nut butter. If you want it to taste like peanut butter, then add peanut butter, like a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie. I just want it to be fairly plain, so I'm using cashew mainly. It's like this nut and seed butter that I found at Costco. And my hands are clean. It might be easier to use your hands sometimes. Then about four tablespoons of your favorite nut milk. I've been really loving this macadamia nut milk. Anything that's unsweetened. Ooh. I think I put a little too much. Pour some out. It's always better to have to add more milk later because you want this cookie dough to look like cookie dough. So we're just mixing it up to make sure that it's a consistency that we like. If it's a little dry, just add a teaspoon at a time of milk until you have that perfect cookie dough consistency. I think that's pretty perfect. Forgot the honey. Honey or maple syrup. About a teaspoon. And I find that really helps it stick together nicely when we're trying to make the cookie. Don't be scared to try it out because if you don't like it as cookie dough, you're not gonna like it as a cookie. I'm gonna add stevia. I like things really sweet, so I add quite a bit. Your favorite sweetener, just to really sweeten it up a bit. If you are keto, you could skip the honey. Let's add some salt, just a pinch. That really brings out the sweetness. Now we just need to add in the chocolate chips. So I like these little chocolate chips um, pre-portioned out pieces of chocolate, they're 72%. I just got them myself. I find it tastes better when the chocolate chips are really small. And add that in. And take a peek, once you mix it around, do you want extra chocolate? Then add another one in. This cookie is so healthy that you could definitely add extra chocolate chips. I'm gonna add in one more. All right, let's mix that together. If you love chocolate as much as me, there you have it. Your cookie dough is ready. Look at that. So you can eat it at it as is. Let's have some bites. Mm. You can eat this any time of day. It's so good for you. Mm. Mm. I like it after a workout because I'm getting over 15 grams of protein in through a cookie or cookie dough. Once you've been working out for a long time, you kind of get sick of protein shakes. So this is a great alternative. You can eat it as is. Or if you love cookies as much as I do, I need cookies in my life. Super simple. We're gonna roll it up into a bowl, make a cookie or two. It's just easier to use your hands. Grab all that batter. It's going 
gonna be a big cookie. And I'm not mad about it. Roll it all together. Perfect. I'm just gonna make the one. If you rather two smaller ones, go for it. But sometimes just grabbing a big cookie feels awesome. Push it down. <laughs> Once you make that ball, I like to make those fork marks. Makes it look like a, a real cookie. There we go. So now we just place it in the freezer for 15 minutes and then it's ready to eat. Oh, if you forget, this has happened to me before. If you forget to take it out of the freezer in 15 minutes, you just need to take it out and let it unthaw for a little until you until you, it's ready to eat because it will freeze all the way. But 15 minutes, it's ready to eat. Or you put it in the freezer, let it freeze, and then put it in the fridge until you're ready to eat it. That's another option. Let's put it in the freezer. So I have another one that I made right before this video. Look at this. Let's try it out. Mm. It's perfect for like a post-workout treat if you're trying to stay on track. So easy. That's what I like about it. If you're sick of protein shakes, make a protein cookie. Mm. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it. Tag me in your recipes. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this super simple recipe and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.